All right, guys. Welcome to the channel. It is 6:05. It's a little early for me, but we're on our way to the gym. Um, we're gonna start our day off right. Got my cup of water. Um, anyone that knows me knows I'm a big advocate for water. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink energy drinks anymore. Um, no soda. No tea. I pretty much only drink water, uh, so yeah, advocate for the water, but we're on our way to the gym, um, I guess this is my new series, um, and I guess we can go ahead and start off by laying out the goals that I have for this year, um, because I, it's just, I'm too young, I guess, to not have these ambitious goals, and like, why why am I not chasing them, I guess, is the biggest thing. So, hold on. <clears throat> so, as you guys have seen, I've been posting a lot of golf stuff, and um, I have a lot of ambitious goals there. Um, starting with, A, I want to get down to a scratch golfer. Um, right now... I've been playing pretty seriously for about the last two years, maybe a year and a half, um, but I, I'm i ready to take it to that next level, if you will. Uh, I want to go scratch. This season, I really, I think, with the amount of work I'm putting in the off season, when we get to spring, uh, I think it's very doable. Um, right now, I'm shooting low 80s high 70s pretty much every given round any given round um, you know I do have my slip ups here and there um, but right now it's it's winter time we're getting close to the holidays and um, I'm putting in a lot of work on track man foresight you know building towards that goal um, but I think the long term goal is I want to go the PGA route and do PGA um, teaching so I'm really getting ready for that playing test um, that you have to do I believe um, it's what the course rating times 2 plus 15 is what you have to do which I mean I think that's ultimately doable um, if I calculated it out right it's in the ballpark of uh, what, 160 strokes, give or take, um, which, I mean, if you divide that by two, that's 80 strokes around, which, you know, I get it, depending on the course that you're playing at, it can be pretty uh, unattainable if I'm having a bad day, but that's why we're going to be grinding uh, this off season. so when we get into the gym, <coughs> uh, the big focus is A, I'd like to lose a little bit of weight, so we're going to hop on to some cardio for about 10 minutes, and then uh, the biggest thing that I really need to start doing is stretching. Um, you know, stretching is probably one of the most important things that we can do for our body. We have all these muscles and little intricate fibers that we need to stretch out. If we're not stretching, like, we're pretty much just doing our body a disservice. Um, in my opinion, right? I mean, I would assume that, you know, other educated people on this would say the same thing, but, you know, I'm not educated, per se, in this topic. I just do a lot of research. Um, and by educated, I just mean somebody that has, you know, taken the certifications to do it anyways. Um, but... Yeah, after I do that, um, we're going to get into a little golf split that um, I will just put in the description if you guys want to tag along and follow it. Um, we're going to do that three days in a row, take a break three days in a row, or maybe I'll just do six days and then take a break, but the plan is to do this six days a week and then follow it up with some uh, golf training. So... Today, I don't have any clubs built. I actually, uh, I took my Strixons apart, so 
so I could put in the new, uh, I got these KBS TGI 95 stiff shafts that I want to put in. Um, they're already gripped and everything I just need to put on the heads <coughs> and swing weight them. Gosh, I got this nagging cough, not ideal, um, but you know, what are we going to do about it? Uh, so yeah, shafts possibly going to come in. <coughs> be put in today I'm not sure I got to talk with my buddy Anton um, to see when we can get those in um, right now I just have like my wedges so today we'll probably do uh, 20 40 60 drill um, really trying to work on getting um, away from what I'm I've been doing so I've been setting up my wedges very much so like my iron shots and getting like a lot of width and um, it's been causing a lot of issues where I've either been <clears throat> catching them very heavy or I'll nip them and come up kind of short uh, or you know I'll, I'll catch it really clean and then it just shoots on me. Uh, I was talking with my buddy Chase Smith, he's uh, doing the PGA program as well. I believe he's doing his level one certifications right now and he's uh, an assistant head pro at Quaquilon. I don't even know how to say that course, but it's up in Washington, Spokane. Uh, and he was kind of giving me some advice to really go to a like hinge, uh, hinge and lock and then figure out distances that way. Um, you know, by going certain speeds um, and getting that feel dialed in. So we're gonna work on that today uh, with my 56 and 60. <coughs> and then really go into um, my 50 ultimately I is probably the goal at the end of the day. We'll see how far we get. Uh, but I think main things to look at as we go into the season is uh, with my swing we're trying to get away from early extension so we've been really trying to focus on like if I draw a line on some of my videos right from my butt all the way up does my butt maintain kind of on that line or am I lifting off uh, the next thing that we're looking at in my swing is I tend to get like a zigzag in my lead arm meaning that I get flippy so it causes this weird zigzag in my arm um, I also have a tendency to break my lead arm so that's where I'm referring to that zigzag if I get flippy uh, but we're really working on that trying to work on a good impact position and um, that's where we are with that on the backswing I'm also trying to get a little bit more vertical. Uh, I My lead arm tends to stay underneath my trail shoulder, so not ideal. And I, I can go over this, probably I'll add some clips later uh, tonight after I'm done eating dinner or something. But I'll add some clips of what I'm talking about and really <clears throat> emphasize like the structure of my practice and what I'm trying to work on but we'll see how that pertains to everything and get after it but yeah I mean that's pretty much what we're going for today um, if I have time I'll do some putting probably won't though um, Rachel's at work or going to work so I gotta go home and take code out throughout the day I don't like leaving my dog at home longer than however many hours I'm probably going to be out. So, um, yeah, that is all I have for today. So, maybe I'll take some shots at the gym, um, but that is all I have. I will see you guys either during the gym or after the gym.
All right, huge shout out to Anton. Dude's a straight wizard with the club building. Um, can't say thank you enough for building out my six on a set. Um, but here we started our uh, hitting session. The big thing that I was wanting to feel really was trying to maintain my spine angle. Um, and comparatively speaking to where I have been, like I tend to get really crunched and drop. So I was really trying to focus on staying more up. Um, so you see me doing a lot of the drill where you put the club up and you cross your arms over it and then you basically just twist and turn. Um, I do that a lot in this video just to really emphasize that feeling. Um, and as you can see, even on my best shots, I'm still dipping a little bit. Um, so we're really going to try and put an emphasis on that during the off season and really try and work um, on that. But with that said too, I was also really trying to work on keeping um, my butt on a line. So if you were to draw a line from my back uh, straight down, like from my where my butt starts, um, trying to keep my butt on that line throughout the entire swing. Um, as you notice too, um, some of my swings, A, I just shanked it there, but some of my swings, um, my arm kind of dips below my shoulder. That's okay. Um, obviously, we are trying to work on that. We have multiple things that we're trying to work on, but for this practice session, I was really trying to focus on spine angle and keeping that. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, just take, I don't know what I'm saying here watch um, and just hopefully you guys can see kind of what I'm doing and practicing. Um, I'm not just beating balls here. I'm really trying to focus on one feel. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, you know, tomorrow I'm going to hopefully be able to hit my um, clubs that Anton built and we'll really try and dive into this feel along with trying to get a little bit more extension up at the top with my hands and get my arm above my shoulder um, it's going to take time and hopefully you know as I'm doing this more and more um, a videoing it and showing progress for you guys um, also just like getting different styles of shots so if you guys like this if you don't like this if you want me to have more in-depth analysis um, we can do that um, but this is kind of what I have for today. It was a little tough to get um, good quality uh, footage. I wish I could have had my mic so I could have explained what was going on, but unfortunately where I was hitting, there was music playing and I, I just, I'm putting background music over this to kind of drown that out. And I'm also talking over it to kind of drown it out. But um, you know, if I go to the range, I'll make sure to be able to say what I'm thinking and like really think out this practice but like I said for today this is kind of what I have so that's what you guys are gonna get hopefully um, some of these other shots are gonna be like uh, front view and then I put the camera actually by the screen having more of a follow-through view I hope you guys like that um, you know leave comments please um, any advice any tips and yeah, I'm gonna keep working on my game, keep grinding, so enjoy.
as we go into this angle, um, the key thing to look at is just watching my uh, lead arm. I'm trying to really make sure that my lead arm is staying straight and that I am holding on to some lag uh, through impact. Um, I actually didn't get to watch this, so this is my first time watching it while I am editing it. Um, first swing looked pretty good. I might need to do a slow-mo on one of these real quick. So right here, uh, I was able to slow it down a little bit and I don't know, that went pretty quick still, but my arm does break a little bit, but it's not as bad as what it normally looks like. Um, so overall, I am still very pleased with the progress. And the thing that I keep reminding myself is that this isn't going to just magically happen overnight. This is going to take, you know, months of practicing that move before it'll really start to get better and look better um, but overall I am very pleased to see it getting better and hopefully this angle kind of gives you guys some more insight to what I was really trying to look at and feel um, so yeah
All right, guys, I am leaving. I just finished hitting some balls. Um, very productive today. Uh, trying to look outside my windshield. Um, anyways, rear view mirror. Um, we are heading home. I didn't get any footage at the gym. They were playing music and it was oddly busy. Um, also, I don't know if I'm gonna be posting stuff in the gym, but I will put uh what i did in the description so if you guys want to see uh what i did for my workout this morning uh, i'm starting to get a little sore uh so when i get home i'll probably stretch a little bit um let's see try and get out of this okay there we go um so anyways uh, hitting today was very productive. I got some wedge work in today and um, I ended up mainly just doing uh, 50 degree shots, um, really trying to work on maintaining my spine angle. Um, I shanked a couple, hit a couple really good. Um, overall, thought it was really productive. Um, well, when I get home, I'll have to analyze some of the shots that I had and try and put that into the video as well um, and then at the very end I was able to do a couple of 56 degrees but I was using some demo clubs I didn't grab my clubs for some reason so I guess some of the numbers don't really matter but really what was important is the feelings that I, were, I was getting with the clubs um, really trying to feel like I was maintaining um, proper spine angle and then I noticed to um, I was getting to a little bit better impact position. Uh, so on the 50 degree, once I started doing that, I decided I wanted to hit a couple seven irons just to see kind of how the seven iron was feeling. And um, it was interesting, noticeably, like I didn't feel like I was swinging very hard and the ball just seemed to go just as far, um, maybe a little bit shorter than what I normally do, but uh, it felt better and I felt like I was able to get a little bit better rotation through the swing so yeah it was a pretty good session um, tomorrow same kind of deal hopefully uh, I forgot to mention this Anton was able to build my clubs today so um, I should put I'll put a picture of them um, but I again I put the TGI KBS um, 95 stiff in to my Strix on so I am pretty excited tomorrow I should be able to hit them the epoxy should have should be set by the time I will be able to hit um, some balls so um, tomorrow I'll try and get some numbers with those see how they feel um, and then put in some more work but yeah that's going to do it for today um, tomorrow is a new day and another day to get after it so see you guys